in a bap restful the main concept of bopf transaction was removed and now we can do it in the abap itself there are two popular ways one is the managed implementation and unmanaged implementation what are those what is the difference between those we will cover in the coming sections but you can understand that in the managed and unmanaged scenario you have capabilities to implement how you treat a o data request so here you have the application the application is connected to the middleware with restful services and we have two main part one is the service binding and the service binding is connected with service definition and in the service definition you basically say okay what are the entities which are exposed as a service and that is what the service definition contains and the service definition directly links you to the cds view and again here there is not one cds view we are talking about a bunch of cds view which is called as virtual data model and here in the virtual data model one cds view act as a root cds view so the concept is little different here what is exactly root cds view we will again look into it but you can imagine it as cds view are clubbed together as a virtual data model again similar concept in what we have in the previous programming model here and in this scenario we have the vdm directly taking the data from the hana database table and exposing it with the service definition now in here basically the abap program basically has two main ingredient one is behavior definition bd and behavior implementation when we are actually going for the implementation of managed and unmanaged services in the coming section we have to deal with both of those now behavior definition is something new which was introduced and there was a new programming language introduced by sap called bdl behavior definition language and the behavior definition language is a language by which we can define this bd which is behavior definition which is quite straightforward but what this behavior definition we are talking about why it is required in the first place so the idea is pretty straightforward and simple so we have this cds view here and in this cds view we define how the data model is now what we can also define is what this data model can do so can we read data with it can we modify data with it can we update data with it so all that behavior is defined in this behavior definition with the help of behavior definition language and when we have this definition then we can also implement once that behavior is triggered for example if i wanted to update something and that update request is triggered then how those update request should be processed with the help of a bap programming language we can define inside this behavior implementation so that is the need for behavior definition and behavior implementation the behavior definition says what we can do with this data model and the implementation actually says how to do that in a bap now that is pretty straightforward and you should know understand that we can have multiple behavior implementation for one behavior definition so that we will also see in the hands on moving forward but this is the overall architecture the rest consumption in the front end is pretty much same with the help of annotation here as well we have the ui5 and the fury apps created and the front end can be rendered with just the help of your odata apis which contains annotations now there is also one addition here that the web apis can be consumed in a third party consumer which can be an application which is outside sap or you have a third party system which required this information and directly you are creating a linkage between your sap system and your non sap system so a web consumer can also access this apis which has information they might not be able to understand the annotation because they don't have the capability to understand how the annotation can be processed but they still will be getting the data because we have the restful apis here which provides the data in the xml format or the o data format the web consumer can consume the service outside the sap ecosystem so that is an additional capability within the service binding you have you can expose the apis to a ui5 or a fury app or a web consumer so overall these are the two 
overview or bird's eye of different component present in the architecture. So moving forward, we are going to cover the runtime aspect and the design time aspect of ABAP RESTful programming here because uh, that is the center of our focus. There are so many things we can easily lose focus. So this will be the part where we will restrict our scope to. But before that, we have to cover one important thing, which is VDM, virtual data model. What is VDM, how they are designed, how they are used. So in the next section, we will cover VDM first before we move ahead.